Hi Taurus, how are y'all doing this month? <clears throat> this is your general reading for the month of May for Taurus Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. If you don't know your Moon Rising or Venus signs, you can look that up on Cafe Astrology, which I'll link below. Uh, this will not resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So uh, anyways, let's get started. <clears throat> so um, the bottom of the deck, your overall energy for the month. You know, I just did Aries video and I think I kept saying week, even though it was some of the monthly readings. Yeah, your uh, overall energy for the month is six of cups. So you might be feeling very nostalgic. Uh, some of y'all could be meeting somebody that feels very familiar. Um, and it can mean a soulmate. Sorry, I'm putting on tabs here. <laughs> it, uh, it's a possible soulmate for, for those that aren't aware. Your soulmate can be anybody. It's not romantic. It just means that somebody you knew in a past life, there's something very familiar about them. It's, it's like you've known them, you know, your whole life. And um, so it could be, it could be a, a friend or, you know, sometimes your soulmates are family members. Like it's not always romantic. Most of the time they're not romantic. It, it's like you can have soul sisters, soul brothers, you know, and um, so it could be that kind of energy. I do feel like some of y'all might be meaning your romantic, you know, a romantic soulmate. We have many soulmates. Um, and um, what else was I going to say? I'm looking at the cards underneath because sometimes those tell more of the story. <laughs> yeah. Some of y'all could be visiting your childhood home this month or just where you grew up or, um, you know, coming in contact with, with somebody that you knew when you were younger and um, it's bringing back memories. So you start out the month with the high priestess. So I feel like this is you being very intuitive and um, maybe even secretive, you know, because it's a card of hidden, hidden knowledge and... Um, so yeah, maybe y'all are keeping a secret about, you know, a big secret or, or you're just not telling people things and, uh, you're really using your intuition and, um, yeah, it's, it's almost like nobody can get anything past you. <laughs> like you might, you might be able to pick up on when somebody's lying to you or, um, if somebody's just not telling you the truth and you are like no there's more to that story and you're not telling me and um yeah you're just able to pick up on those things <clears throat> so you're being influenced by two of swords you might have a decision to make um you might feel like you're at a stalemate you know a crossroads and you you have to um <clears throat> just choose choose what you're gonna do and and you might even need to compromise on something. So, uh, subconsciously though, we've got five of cups. So I feel like you're focusing on the negative and, uh, I don't like using the term crying over spilled milk, but some subconsciously you might, you might be, you know, really upset over, over something that's kind of insignificant because you have other things to be grateful for, things to to uplift you, and you're just focusing on the things that are going wrong. <clears throat> so, and that's subconscious. You may not realize you're doing it. Uh, your goal is the hanged man. You you might have your sights on a Pisces, uh, but this is you. I I feel like this is your your goal is to let go of someone or a, a toxic situation, something that's no longer serving you. For, for some of y'all, your goal is to get a new perspective on something. Maybe you're only seeing one side and you want to see it, see another point of view. And so your goal is to see the, see the other side. Maybe, maybe you found out about a fight and you heard from one person how the fight went and you need to find out how, you know, from the other person involved, what what their side of the story is. And uh, <clears throat> and the rest of y'all, I feel like 
you your goal is to not that you would want to make sacrifices maybe maybe you your goal is to stop sacrificing so much and in the recent past we've got knight of rods so some of y'all could have been dealing with a fire sign i feel like this was news arriving or action taking taken on a pursuit of passion like because wands are or rods are you know about passionate endeavors and um i mean they mean a lot of things but this is this is uh this could be just a, an adventurous person but if it is a fire sign it could be aries leo or sagittarius uh but this is somebody that that is very adventurous might be kind of immature depending on how old you are uh, they might be significantly younger than you and um, for a lot of you I feel like this was a love interest but it doesn't have to be <clears throat> in the near future the temperance card so you could be dealing with Sagittarius the, this could be that knight of rods person um, if it's yeah because that's a fire sign but this is just in the, in the near future, I feel like you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of patience in in a situation, or it's also just a card of trying to get things right, like fixing things, um, you know, put put things in balance, and um, <clears throat> how you're feeling in the month of May, King of Rods. So you're feeling, you know, entrepreneurial. Maybe some of y'all are, are pursuing a passionate endeavor, like a passionate career choice, you know, following a passion. And so this is you branching out on your own. You could just be starting a business or, or maybe you recently started a business and, it, you know, maybe not necessarily a passionate endeavor, but, but I, do, I do feel like it probably is. It could even just be a side hustle. And... Um, but, you know, if it if that's not you, then this is just you feeling extra fiery, vibrant. Um, I mean, it really is the card of an entrepreneur. So, <clears throat> yeah. And how people see you is Queen of Swords. So, and they, these are all male or female. I always forget to say that. It could be male or female. So, this is, people are seeing you as maybe a little cold emotionally and you know like you've got your emotions turned off or I mean really it's just somebody who's logical analytical they're blunt so maybe you've been a little sharp-tongued lately and uh, cracking your whip this is somebody who can be a little controlling <clears throat> or a little or a lot so uh, yeah just um, not very emotional doesn't really react um it's somebody who's very intelligent too intellectual all right hopes and fears the fool i feel like y'all want to take a risk you're fearing taking a risk but you're also hoping to take a risk and uh you know trusting in the universe trusting that you're on the right path and you're you're wanting to to embark on a new path I feel like some of y'all are pursuing a passion, Taurus. So, my throat's so scratchy. In the final outcome, we got Page of Rods. So, again, we just had, yeah, Nine of Rods. So, whoever that was, if that was a person, they might be coming back in. If they left, they might be coming back in in the final outcome. Because <clears throat> this feels like the same person. But this could just be a message arriving related to a passion. You know, Knight of Rods, Page of Rods, you had King of Rods, and then that full card, like, stepping out. Yeah, and then that Hanged Man. I feel like some of y'all might be leaving your, your day job to pursue a passion, so you're taking a huge risk. And so I want to clarify this. Because I want to know if it's, you know, if, if it's such a huge risk for y'all. Is that, okay, let's clarify Page of Rods. 
Maybe you, you've been waiting on news to arrive. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> then we've got the Sun card and Ten of Pentacles. So this is like creating your legacy, your future, your uh, retirement, and, you know, financial abundance. It's the highest number of the Pentacles cards, which is, you know, can pertain to money and finances. So that is, that is financial security, financial abundance. And Ten of Pentacles can be like a, um, a business that you create that employs like your family. And so their, their money comes through working for your business that you create. So, and then the sun card is joy and happiness and celebration and yeah, you couldn't ask for better cards. So if you are thinking about starting a new passion and like pursuing a, a passionate career, um, do it, do it. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. <clears throat> so anyways, and um, yeah, those that aren't pursuing a passion, I feel like that's a fire sign, possibly. Or just you, um, yeah, just being adventurous. Maybe you're going on an adventure. Maybe you're going to go spend a year in Europe or something. <laughs> and the, oh, I also pulled this, the wishful, or not, sorry, the happily ever after card. So that's, um, yeah, Ten of Cups. Anyways, that's your reading for the month, Taurus. I need a cough drop. So, I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. So, you can be notified when I come out with more videos. And I plan on doing weekly readings starting for May. So, anyways, keep an eye out for those. Sorry. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And I will see you next time. Bye.